Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze Pinky Promise. I'm going to stamp silver leaves on it. I started off with Peel Ease as my base coat. And here is China Glaze Pinky Promise. Beautiful, beautiful polish. A much older China Glaze polish. So I'm going to go in with my first coat of it and do just, you know, my regular old thing that we do. Trying to, I'm trying to be neat, trying not to make a mess. And this is one of those skinny china glaze brushes, so I'm having to re-dip and get more polish. There we go. I think we got it this time. <laughs> and this polish does have like some shimmer in it, but I can't really get it to show up on camera. So you're going to have to take my word for it. And here we go. We're going to go in with our second coat of Pinky Promise. Beautiful formula. If the brush was a nicer brush, it you know it might even go on even better but it's self-leveling really really nice and I approve so there we go nice pink base I'm gonna top it with the Pro FX quick dry top coat get it to dry down so that we can do some stamping so you do want this dry before you start stamping or you'll mess up your base coat your base color and nobody wants that so there we go. We're going to cap that free edge real quick. There we have it. I'm going to be using the You Are Beautiful 18 plate today. My Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. Pure Ices Silver Mercedes. Not a stamping polish. And my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. I'm going to put this image on all of my nails except for my ring finger. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. So there we go. Try to get it turned around the way I want it. And smush it down. So there we go. I told y'all um, in one of my tag videos that uh, one of my favorite combinations is pink and silver. And this was kind of spawned by that thought. <laughs> I already figured I needed to do a pink and silver manicure. Kind of put it in my head and just went ahead and did it. I do love these kind of colors and this is a fall manicure without it being a fall you know done in fall colors so we're just gonna keep on rolling along and using that non stamping polish is working out just beautifully sometimes regular polishes are really great to stamp with there we go I found that a lot of the like chrome or metallic-y looking polishes do pretty well for stamping. I am cleaning that plate off in between with acetone and a cotton ball, you know, just to keep that, all those lines cleaned out so that I get crisp pickups. There we go. And for the ring finger, I'm going to use the image right next to it. Um, it's going to give give that base color more of a chance to pop out. It's got a little bit more open space to it. So I just thought I would do that, you know. There we go. Ta-da! I am going to use a piece of tape to try to get up some of this excess polish from off of my fingers. And it is coming up pretty well. I wouldn't say perfectly, but pretty well. We'll take that. Trying to get up as much of it as I can, so I have as little cleanup to do with that cleanup brush. There we go. I am going to pop out my acetone and my little cleanup brush and run around this real quick. Had a little piece sticking off the end. I wanted to kind of melt that back to the nail. There we go. Very easy cleanup. This one comes up without smearing all over my fingertips, and I really do like that. So there you have that one. I'm going to top it with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat first before using my regular top coat. I really do like this. I think I've ordered another one from another brand. It might have been Born Pretty or somewhere like that. Today, I'm going to use Shesh Vite as my top coat. I need to... Uh, 
run thinner through my posh and fill it up the rest of the way out of my big professional refill bottle. So I'm just going to use this today. Had it, might as well use it. There we go, capping that free edge. And here's my manicure. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here with Woody. You know, got to let Woody have some show time. And I've made quite the mess, so I'm going to have to break out my acetone again. I got, I got, I got that shesh feet just all over the place. <laughs> it's all okay, though, because it's cleanable. We can do this. And there we go. There we go. So here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. I would love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.